guys, it's your host of Sean here, and today we're doing a video about, we might be unboxing something really cool today, make sure you like and subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a video, and if this video gets at least a thousand likes, it'll be absolutely amazing, so let's get into it. So first, we have this All About Rocks kit, let's go dude. It contains um, a guidebook and 15 real rock samples. So, he, here are, here's the front page. There. You can have a look. My hands were interrupting the other bit. And then there's the back. So inside, as you saw, as they showed, as they told you, there was this book. Pretty cool. Look how much stuff there is in here. There's more than you think. Like about, there's like about 24 pages, not a lot, but still good. I'll put that back. Now time. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, time for the rock samples. Here they are. It's better. I think it's better if I take them out. Yeah, I'm just gonna take them out. Let's go. Time to get you out of here. Rock samples. Woo! Come on, get out! Whoa. <laughs> yeah! Boom! So here they are. So first we have pink granite. Here's pink granite. On each rock I'm gonna to um, tell you a thing I like about them. I like, I like that there are a few shiny bits, which are pink and then, yeah. So next we have Amygdalodium muscles. <laughs> the thing I like about this is that it's it's really black. I like black, sort of. And, by the way, black's my dad's favorite color. And I like there's this shiny bit over there. You can see. Yeah, that's what I like about that. Now we have Pumis. Have a look at it. I like that it's white and it's very light. Look at it. So easy to catch. Like even babies can lift this. It's so light. I like that it's so light. Now next we have obsidian. I like how it's shiny black. And I've re I've researched that it's hard. It's a hard rock. So yeah, that's what I like about obsidian. Now, Scoria. I like that it's slightly brown and black. It has loads of holes in it. Yeah. Now, Chert. I like how gray it is and this soft bit over there. Yeah. Now, Organ Gneiss. Sounds like a weird name, but so good. It's it's move around this area and it's even smoother on this area. There are two areas that make it smooth and there are tiny crystals inside there. Yeah. Now we're up to green serpentine. So this is it, green serpentine. We're up to the eighth crystal rock or 
the eighth rock or crystal. This is green serpentine. I like how it's very lime greenish and it has this smooth bit over there. Yeah, so we'll put that aside. Come on, get in. Uh, it's kind of like as if it's too big. Okay, now we're up to Ganesh. It looks kind of like Organish, except a different shape and more black parts. I like how there are tiny crystals in here. Same as Organish. They should be kind of the same. So, I have the same I like for that. Same as Organish. So now, we're up to a pretty good one. Red marble. Smash. Red marble. So I like how there are tiny crystals in here again. And there are two smooth bits. This one feels more smooth than this part. Yeah. Put that there. Now conglomerate. I like how this kind of maroonish in there. And white black holes i like that now yellow serpentine i obviously have a great i like about this i like how it's kind of lemonish colored and there are tiny very tiny crystals in there very tiny and it's and that makes it very shiny and the shape looks like um the wood of a tree. That's what I like about it. It looks like the wood of a tree. So now we're up to the 13th one. Quartz, quartz sandstone. So if you don't know sandstone, it's kind of like cobblestone, which is stone. Except this is a different version of sandstone. Quartz sandstone. I like how it's grey and it's kind of light, it's kind of light like pumice here. So now we're up to gypsum. What about gypsum? I like how this part looks like a road and it kind of looks like in Ninjago there's this thing called Jinjago. It looks like that. Okay, now we're up to the last one, coal. You may think this is what we use. I like how, like, you may think this is what you use for barbecue, but no. That's charcoal. This is coal, not charcoal. This is very important. If you burn it in a barbecue, it will damage the food. Yeah. I like how it's black, very black, just like obsidian. And yeah, my hands are getting dirty. Well, anyway, that's all of the crystals. Or rocks or crystals. I don't know what they are. Either rocks or crystals or minerals. Of course they're minerals, but yeah, either rocks or crystals. I like crystals more than rocks. My obsidian is a crystal. So, I think this is crystals and rocks. So, yeah. That was kind of confusing. Wasn't it? Yeah. That should have been confusing. Get that? Okay. Now we have time to read a bit of the book. Oops. Sorry. The camera just fell because I was moving it. So now I have to show you a bit of the book. I want to show you my favorite bit. So it says all oh, about rocks. Scholastic. That's the company it's from. Scholastic. Okay, so this is my favorite bit. Gemstones. Gemstones like diamonds, garnets, Pearls and emeralds are minerals. Many minerals are pretty pretty to
still get, but they break easily. Gemstones, though, are tough. They're easily. No, they're easily very hard, which makes them very perfect to use for making jewelry. This beautiful, these beautiful, this these beautiful stones can be either precious or semi-precious. Precious gemstones are the most valuable. Think diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. They are made from crystals that are transparent or see-through. Semi-precious stones are usually made from coarse, turquoise, or malachite. Coarse is translucent, translucent, which means light passes through it, but you can't see through it. Turquoise and malachite are opaque, which means that light can't pass through. Okay, gemstones can be cut into many different shapes. Brilliant, marquise, pear, oval, octagon, cabochon, pineapple, square cushion, the princess, magna, mag, yeah, magma, round, and trillion. Did you know gemstone size is measured in carats? The word carat comes from an Arabic word that means bean or seed. One carat is about zero point zero zero seven one ounces ounces of ounces, which means two hundred milligrams. No. So here are the gemstones. This is brilliant. This is Marquis. This is pear. Okay, you probably did not see that. This is brilliant. This is Marquis. This is pear. This is oval. This is octagon. Cabochon. Pineapple. Square cushion. Princess. Magna. Round and trillion. I think diamonds are probably a trillion. Diamonds are either a trillion or round. I know that emeralds are a octagon cabochon and pear and sapphires are pears and rubies. Rubies, what are rubies? Rubies have, rubies are probably marquis. So here was the gemstone bit I was reading. This is the title. This is, this is transparent. This is translucent and this is opaque. Yeah. If this video gets at least a thousand likes, then I will be able to read more of this book. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every time I make a video. And if this video gets at least a thousand likes, it will be absolutely amazing. Because that means I will be able to read another bit of the book. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Peace out, as always. And if you didn't know, um, about that crash thing that happened before I was about to show you the book, yeah, one of these... <coughs> They were about to break because they are fragile. It nearly broke. So, peace out as always. Bye. Bye. See you guys next time. Time to end the video. Oops. See you guys.